Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Scorpio. Hope you guys are well. I did put some singles readings up on Monday. If you haven't seen them, there may be a message there for you. That card wants to come out, Scorpio. See what's going on with you, Scorpio. Overall energy surrounding you, your love life, finance, career, whatever shows up here. Scorpio, the overall energy surrounding you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Oops. I'm not going to take any of those because that was just bad. Scorpio. That one wants to come out. Okay. Door to personal healing and happiness, Scorpio. Patience. So all in good timing. Okay, so some of you uh, are patiently waiting for something here. You may want to heal a situation with someone, or you could be going through uh, some kind of healing. Uh, it's all in good time, divine timing, be patient. I feel as though uh, it, it's very... I feel as though you need to be patient with the situation. There may be someone around you who's being patient, waiting for the right time uh, to approach you as well, to heal a situation. Very nice energy. Personal healing and happiness, yeah. So there is something about value. Someone definitely cares about you. They value you. So they're going to wait very patiently if you're healing. But it could be yourself or an energy of somebody who wants to heal. They may be uh, waiting for the right opportunity to come in, let you know that they care about you, they value. They see your worth. Someone's seeing your worth here. Very nice energy. Scorpio, what's going on with you? Uh, something is blossoming, yeah. There is definitely the possibility of a new beginning. There's something growing and blossoming. Very positive energy. So I feel as though, um, I mean, you could be going through some kind of healing. You're just waiting for the right opportunity to let someone you know you care about them. But you may be just sort of waiting, okay? Uh, I feel someone is being patient, though. I feel they uh, want to start something new with you. Uh, there's something blossoming. It's, it's a beautiful energy. There's a lot of abundance. Somebody actually sees uh, building something with you here, going off on a path. Very nice. Someone sees your worth, Scorpio. There we go. Yeah, so you've got someone who's thinking of taking action. <laughs> yeah, there may be some obstacles to overcome here. Uh, someone is definitely wanting to, you know, heal. They may be going through something, so you may have to be patient. It could go the other way. Scorpio, what do you need to know? Clarity for Scorpio regarding your love life, finance, and career. What does Scorpio need to know? Someone wants to come out. Yeah, so there is a passion new beginning. Someone finds you very attractive, very sexy. Uh, so we have the six of wands. There is movement. There's a need for patience. There are obstacles, maybe some challenges. But I see this new beginning. Someone's very passionate about this. And they are waiting for that right moment, I feel, to come towards you. Yeah, someone values you. They definitely see your worth. Yeah, I see a healing, releasing, a reconciliation. There's a decision to make here. Uh, so you may make a decision. Uh, maybe this person's wondering if you value them. Maybe they're waiting patiently for you to express something. So to maybe take some kind of action. Yeah, but I feel there's a decision to do with the healing. Just releasing negative energy, negative thoughts, letting things go. Uh, it's an energy of like that, that awakening, okay? Ready to wake up. But I feel like there's a, a big decision here. I see some Libra energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It's yours, their energy. Nice. I like that it's the five of wands, six of wands. There is going to be movement. The decision is to, I feel, have this new beginning. So maybe you want, maybe you're going through a healing of some kind and you want someone to be patient. You may let them know that you care about them. Okay, so very nice. Yeah, I see a couple lovers here. Two people who have some kind of a bond. There's definitely a physical attraction. Uh, there's this decision. Wow, there could be a reconciliation. The two of you coming together, starting something new. There's something blossoming. It's a beautiful energy. This is two people who build each other up, uh, coming together to build something together. But this is two people who build each other up, look out for each other. There's a bond. Yeah, so there is definitely this energy. Someone's very much trying to not control the situation. Okay, something may have gotten out of control. There may have been some chaos or conflict. Something's happened or somebody kind of lost control of a situation. 
situation. Maybe they were trying to control it. Uh, but I feel what we have is something moving very quickly. Uh, someone here is definitely controlling their emotions, using all the power they have to move forward. So nice, yeah. There is some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer energy. Uh, definitely could be a Libra. I feel like there's a decision. Somebody wants clarity. They want the truth, nothing but the truth. But I feel like they're kind of trying to control their emotions. They, Someone may have said something. Maybe something got out of control. But it's a decision. It's a judgment. Someone's being very wise here. I, I think you got someone who values you, you know, or you're valuing someone. But I think you want to know the truth. And then we have the moon. Yeah, there is definitely some feelings. There is definitely a little bit of confusion, maybe a little bit of a mystery. There's a need for some kind of clarity to clear something up about a decision, a judgment. Maybe someone judged you wrong or you judged them wrong. But look at this energy. Yeah? Someone may have thought uh, that maybe you've moved on. You're moving away towards another person. I see a Gemini energy as well. Yeah, so I, I feel as though what we have here is a couple of people who have a bond. There's something blossoming, um, you know, someone maybe making a decision that uh, if there isn't this passion in the beginning that maybe you're not seeing their worth and their value. But I feel there's a need for some kind of truth and clarity. There's some kind of confusion. Someone has some deep feelings here. Uh, definitely, but there may be a little bit of fear that someone's moving on, moving away from a situation. Maybe you're wanting someone to wait. Um, you know, there's definitely a decision healing, definitely healing energy here. So yeah, we have the Hierophant. It's about tradition, belief, behavior. It's about being faithful. Someone's trying to keep the faith, but they have a few fears that yeah, either you're moving on because uh, they're waiting patiently. This is about divine timing. Someone uh, may be becoming a little bit of imp impatient here, but I feel there's this. it's all about this value, whether someone values you. There could be money involved as well. Uh, I feel someone may be starting something, okay, that's blossoming. You could be starting a new business. You may be taking action. Uh, there could be, you could be competing for something in the workforce as well to do with some kind of creativity, something new, okay, that you're very passionate about. I see that as well. But I do see this, someone using the power they have to control a situation. Someone may have... Um, you know, rushed into a situation too quickly, spoke their mind, and now there's this confusion or a little bit of fear. So whatever it is was out of fear that maybe maybe you've been pulling back or they have, and there's a decision made out of fear, okay, about someone being faithful, uh, about trust, honesty. It's about two people being on the same page, building each other up, not tearing each other down, okay? So I, I like this energy because it's really about some kind of truth. There is some kind of truth or decision that needs to be made or has been made. Uh, surrounding fear, fear of someone not being faithful. Uh, there is a need to purge and release something, some Aquarius energy or Libra energy, letting go of something. Someone needs to let go of this need to control. Someone may be moving a little faster or maybe things just went too fast. Uh, and somebody became afraid about uh, to do with commitment. There could be a fear of commitment. This is a, about faith, uh, the way someone conducts themselves, the way they behaved. Uh, there's a little bit of concern to do with that. There's a need to let go of this energy. Uh, this is, you, you know, this is where you want to know if someone sees your worth and your value. You may be afraid that they don't because they don't want to commit. Okay, there's something here, a little bit of a push-pull, a bit of a struggle. Uh, there may have been conflict. So the door to personal happiness, personal healing and happiness, a little bit of a timeout. Yeah, so you may be waiting for someone to heal, okay, or vice versa, sort of holding on, waiting uh, patiently for someone. But there is this energy of, uh, if, yeah, there's... I feel like somebody here could be moving away from a situation towards another person. There is some kind of fear of this, of someone not being faithful. And I don't think there's a lot of worry about it. I actually feel that somebody definitely values you. But I feel someone may have said something hasty, uh, something to do with this healing, whether someone values them, sees their worth. There's a need for some kind of truth, some kind of communication. Yeah, so there is something to do with work. Somebody here is working very hard at something, uh, waiting patiently. Uh, you may be waiting for someone, so you're just focused on your work. Some of you are looking for jobs, looking for new things to keep you busy. <laughs> I, I feel like there's this waiting game, and I feel like it's uh, definitely not easy. Someone may feel there's competition, that someone started something new. So they may have based a decision a little bit too hasty. 
uh, for some of you. But yeah, there's someone working on a new beginning. There is a need for clarity, honesty. Some of you are starting something new. Uh, you're waiting patiently for something. It's all in good time, divine timing. There's a need for that clarity right there, uh, starting something new. So tell me about the door to value. Yeah, so there's someone definitely sees all the abundance, the possibilities. Someone may feel like someone has other options. Okay, they're keeping their options open. Maybe there's something that's been exposed. Uh, but I feel someone is definitely ready to have a new beginning. It's just a matter of waiting patiently. Everything will become ex exposed and illuminated. I see a Leo energy. Tell me about this blossoming abundance. Why is this here? Blossoming abundance. There we go. Yeah, this is two people coming together to build each other up, to look out for each other, count on each other. It's about being reliable. Something blossoming. Something is blooming. There is abundance here between the two of you. There is a lot of possibilities, a lot of very positive energy. In fact, I feel like... Someone may be just doing some inner work, gaining some clarity, uh, and it could be you waiting for some, you know, wanting someone to be patient uh, before you start something new, but maybe they're worried or you're worried that uh, someone is seeing another person, but I'm not so sure about that. I feel like it's a fear. It's a, there's some kind of confusion to do with whether two people are either on the same page, the same path, or someone being faithful. Yeah, so there's that cancer energy. Uh, there may have been some obstacles, challenges, some kind of argument. Someone was trying to control a situation. Things kind of got out of control, uh, I feel. But someone's using this, all the power they have to keep their emotions in check, to find that inner balance. So someone's emotions got out of balance. There's some kind of conflict, obstacles to overcome. I feel it will be. Uh, I do. I feel there will be this healing, and I do feel two people will come back together again. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is this here? Ace of Wands energy. Yeah. So there is somebody here, yeah. So someone feels someone's being sneaky, a little bit of player. Someone's trying to figure something out, uh, whether someone started something new. There, There's a lack of faith here. Someone has some fear. Someone's not being pa faithful while somebody is working on something, building something, uh, really busy, whatever it is. Is someone perfecting their craft, working on something, and there's a need for patience, all in good timing. Yeah, we have this Pisces energy. Someone here sort of looking at things from every angle, looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, someone may have been cheating or just being a little sneaky, but I think someone's just trying to figure something out here. Uh, it has to do with someone's trying to fix themselves. It could be an emotional issue where someone's emotions got the best of them. Uh, someone is maybe seeing things from a different angle, but there is a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a break here where someone is kind of going within. This is something, somebody doing something within themselves, seeing things from a different perspective and angle and making a decision. Yeah, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody here who's focused on this connection. Yeah, this is somebody who's very grounded, very practical, making a decision to just be patient, to wait, look at the details, uh, being very gracious. This is the Queen of Pentacles energy someone who likes to make people feel comfortable uh, there could be some kind of friendship or companionship sometimes the queen of pentacles likes friends it could be a taurus energy you know it could be just a friendship here uh, but i feel someone is checking something out they're trying to figure out if somebody has started something new or trying to figure out if somebody values them finds them sexy or attractive <laughs> Yeah, I see this emperor energy. Uh, you got someone here with some very strong boundaries. This could be you, Scorpio, coming up with that Mars energy, uh, wanting to know, you know, taking control of a situation, making a decision. Maybe someone judged you wrong or you judged them wrong. Uh, this is somebody who's very kind, very gracious. This is someone who likes to take care of the house, the home. They like to make money. They're always planning for the future. So there are a decision about making plans. Now, someone definitely has some very strong boundaries here when it comes to a bond um, between two people, whether they're reliable. This is two people looking out for each other's best interests. So, yeah, someone does value you here, very much so. And I feel maybe maybe on the flip side, this person's wondering if you see the possibilities with them, if you're seeing someone, if you're moving on. You know, there's something going on here. So yeah, there's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So somebody may be ending something with one person and moving towards another. But this is one of these situations where there's two people here who... You know, there's something here between you. It may be just a new relationship. Uh, maybe it's kind of on and off. Somebody 
Yeah, I feel like there's something ending. Someone's taking off in another direction, but I feel it's a fear. There's illusion. There's some kind of confusion. There's a need for the truth. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, so we have this energy of somebody who's kind of, it's a healing energy again, finding their inner balance, somebody being very patient, tempering their thoughts, their emotions, the need to control the situation. It's about tempering it very much about patience someone's pulling back and looking at things differently maybe seeing you different um you may be different than their usual type it could go either way uh, being on the corner but i feel this is some sagittarius energy yeah someone here is definitely they're you know wondering if they should end something or if somebody's ending it because there's someone here who's in this emperor energy someone who wants everything their way it's my way or the highway it's a judgment it's a decision uh, someone's trying to figure something out someone's got a bit of an ego maybe even being a little arrogant but they could be sort of stopping and looking at things from a different angle a different perspective while there's this pause it's going within yeah definitely the star releasing things that no longer serve someone's tempering their thoughts or emotions their words they're trying to be very patient uh, while there's this healing they're looking at things from a different angle a different perspective trying to see yours or you're trying to see theirs uh, this is about doing things right doing the right thing it's about two people who are a good fit uh, there's definitely some kind of chemistry here uh, I do feel someone wants to be valued. They want to know. Um, there's somebody who uh, has questions and answers about this purging and releasing. Uh, this is someone who values themselves. They look out for themselves. Yeah, wow. Tell me about the moon. Why is this here? What are these fears about to do with the moon? Someone may be afraid uh, that you're not being faithful or you're afraid that they aren't. There's something to do with faith. Okay. Uh, there's some kind of reminiscing memories, sweet feelings. Somebody may be afraid someone has a new crush, but there's this, uh, there are some very sweet memories here. And I feel there's someone here who's planning something, maybe a reconciliation, a reunion. Maybe they want to do something sweet for you, but they may be afraid. Uh, someone may be afraid. There could be children involved. Uh, there could be a baby. Something's happening here because the son is maybe a, maybe somebody is, planning something it's possible some of you may be thinking of planning um having something new maybe a new baby there's something to do with work too uh, to do with that so there's this new beginning i feel there's definitely children involved there's something here something hidden some kind of secret to do with maybe someone from the past uh, maybe you're worried this person's going to end things and move go back towards another person um yeah something from the past some kind of secret tell me about this it's just a fear illusion confusion yeah there's someone here maybe a child involved someone here maybe uh, feels like you're losing focus you're not focused on them or it could be vice versa yeah someone's afraid someone's focusing on someone else not focusing on them anymore um yeah wow could be children involved a child involved yeah someone has a little bit of fear there's some kind of insecurities someone may feel just a little bit insecure that someone's not focused on them or focus on someone from the past um, could be a lack of money just insecurities there may be something here where someone's feeling someone's lacking they're not getting the attention they want someone's not focused on them so there's a little bit of insecurities yeah now we have the hierophant it's about keeping the faith about two people being on the same page someone feels somebody wasn't faithful or they're worried about it or they have a fear of it because i see children maybe you're worried this person's going to go back to the mother of their children and start something new maybe work things out yeah there's a need for i feel like with this queen of swords as someone who has a lot of questions um they want clarity they want answers the queen of swords is someone this is someone who's definitely tempering uh being patient waiting for some kind of other reunion reconciliation or a healing uh, for something to be released for someone to come back in and show you their worth their value so it's interesting energy yeah someone's afraid here that someone's going back to someone from the past or maybe you know something to do with children family there's some kind of history someone may be afraid someone has a new crush and someone's not paying attention to them yeah something to do with emotional fulfillment someone's not reciprocating their feelings their emotions they're not being emotionally available they're not opening up so there's possibly very little talking or none at all 
Yeah, there may be a lack of reciprocity, a lack of equal give and take, or very spor sporadic communication. Somebody wants someone to open up. They want to reciprocate their feelings. Otherwise, they feel they're not focused on them. They may be giving to someone else. There's a lack of faith. But I feel it's about keeping the faith, yeah? Someone here is doing a lot of thinking about being uh, um, their faith in someone. Uh, someone's being very wise. Someone may not be following the status quo. There may be something here to do with someone's behavior, their code of conduct, the way they behave, their habit. But someone's up in their head thinking here. This is yourself, possibly. Okay, it could be the other person as well. And up in their head, trying to be very logical, trying to be wise. But this is just stuff going on in someone's head is what I feel because there's some kind of fear, yeah, about making a choice, a decision that someone may be moving on. Uh, towards another person someone from their past or maybe somebody who has children interesting energy yeah and then we have this balance so someone here is definitely trying to balance their head over their heart uh, they're trying not to have any fears there's some emotional energy here so yeah so there's a need for some kind of emotional balance there's a lack of it right now i feel someone's not opening up emotionally they're not giving someone else is definitely you know this is a lack of emotional fulfillment a lack of feeling fulfilled happy uh, getting what they want and i feel someone's very much focused on self right now and not focusing on you or vice versa so for some reason something to do with faith trust two people being on the same page the same path uh, there's a need for some emotional balance head over heart someone's trying to be that way yeah we got two people the thinking man and woman someone's looking for clarity looking for answers trying to gain some insight some clarity to a situation you both could be thinking some of the same things about each other a little bit of fear about faith code of conduct morals uh, commitment you both might be thinking of committing to each other maybe there's a lack of commitment or something here maybe someone doesn't want to commit because they're reaching out to someone else or something going on yeah what is it here definitely there's i do feel that there's an energy here of two people who are thinking the same things about each other not having that faith not so sure you're on the same page but trying to keep the faith yeah tell me about this wheel of fortune why is this here for scorpio why is this here whoops oh yes we have some obsession here Yeah, there's definitely somebody here who's ending a cycle of toxicity, something unhealthy. Uh, someone's releasing something. They're letting go of something that's no that no longer serves them. Old relationship baggage, toxic relationships, so things go in their favor. Uh, someone's very determined to do this. We have somebody here with this emperor energy. This could be an Aries. This could be someone who has boundaries, Aries or Scorpio. This could be both of you. Like uh, I'm seeing this energy here. Uh, somebody who's being very practical looking into the future so we're waiting for a cycle to end making plans but there's something here about something it could be blocking sometimes the emperor blocks but there's someone who's very determined here to take control someone who wants things their way their way or the highway and i feel there's something very unhealthy toxic uh, there's a cycle somebody is ending and it could be with somebody from the past so maybe you're waiting for somebody to heal to release that uh, negative energy this unhealthy situation a karmic relationship of somebody who is uh, just very very unhealthy and it's a purging and healing i feel like it's going to be done but i feel it's something that there's going to require a lot of patience and I feel there's this lack of emotional fulfillment right now. Someone's feeling like they're not, uh, someone's not reciprocating, no longer focused on them. So, but I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot of thinking, too much going on in the head, not enough communication. Yeah, there's a lack of trust. Somebody's not trusting. Somebody feels like someone's playing mind games or manipulating them because they're actually moving on. They may be somebody being sneaky about something, the way they're approaching a situation. So there could be someone who's been sneaking around, uh, having a new beginning with someone else. I see that physical connection. But it could be someone, who, this is someone who's trying to figure out, you know, how to heal and fix a situation that may have gotten out of control. So yeah, there's an ending. Something is ending for something new to begin. This is that, the ending of a bad situation. This is a healing. So there is this rebirth energy. Yeah. Someone's definitely in control, but that's you ending a situation, Scorpio, putting an end to something unhealthy, figuring things out, uh, looking at things from a different angle, different perspective uh, to be able to have this new beginning. Yeah, it's definitely 
definitely something happening here but that's you know the death card is good because it's an ending uh, somebody here is trying to fix something to figure out how to put an end to a situation but i feel there's some trust issues between you and someone here there's some mind games and manipulation someone's in their head too much there's just some kind of mental connection going on uh, where you both of you may not be trusting each other here uh, while there's this waiting period i wonder if someone's traveling or moving or they uh, they're off maybe moving uh, building a new business career or moving on towards a job somebody may travel for work and someone's not sure they trust the other person okay there's definitely something here about a chariot this can be a vehicle uh, this can be travel movement there's some kind of conflict competition uh, here that's yeah someone may be worried trying to figure out something here Someone might be worried someone's moving in another direction. I mean, if you're the one going through the healing and you want somebody to patiently wait for you, I feel like they are. I, I feel as though there's this someone tempering their thoughts, their emotions, their feelings, waiting for something to heal. They're looking at things from a different angle and perspective. They're being very wise. But this is also someone, you know, this is someone who doesn't take any BS, someone who's been hurt. They're very logical. This is someone who's very discerning about making decisions. Something needs to be released. Someone wants to be held in high regard if they feel like they're not being held in high regard and someone's not reciprocating or sharing uh, opening up emotionally then that's that fear of someone not focused on them and focused on someone else i see children i see something from the past here so yeah so there is something from the past here to do with this passion this new beginning someone has a little bit of fear someone's not reaching out uh, you know you're maybe you're afraid someone's not reaching out to you um yeah, someone's a little afraid that it's actually over. Someone may be trying to figure out how to end a situation. But I do feel it has to do with healing, a very toxic, unhealthy situation. There's something here that's kind of on and off. It's an emotional roller coaster where things got out of control. So it's time to kind of pull back, temper the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings, and just be patient to allow something to heal. Someone's being very wise here. Uh, but there is a lot of thinking here about whether someone's actually being faithful. Uh, there's some trust issues. And it could be to do with something from the past. So it's about releasing negative thoughts, uh, negative relationships, negative patterns, uh, taking the things that you learn that resonate and leaving the rest behind, okay? So somebody here wants to win. But the thing is, is are they being honest, right? That's There's some kind of deception, possibly. But I think it's trust issues. Maybe someone feels the other person's manipulating. So let's see what the outcome is here. Yeah, so there is something to do with community. Yeah, happy home, happy life. Somebody, you know, has a lot of friends, family. Um, I, I see this. Someone might be just worried about that someone's manipulating, that they're seeing other people when they're out in the community. But I feel there's something here to do about something solid, a solid foundation uh, to do with happy home, happy life, emotional fulfillment. Someone's not trusting somebody. Uh, it has to do with maybe there was some gossip, something here. Uh, or there's just too many people involved, maybe. Uh, some kind of reunion, get-together with family, friends. One more. For Scorpio there we go yeah so there is a storm warning there's something that's going to happen very sudden uh, somebody has some kind of fears here that something's going to happen suddenly but it's sometimes very positive uh, there could be some happy news uh, there could be a celebration the birth of a child uh, but I feel there's some there's that trust issue someone's not trusting someone or trusting a situation uh, to do with faith to do with commitments Someone may be hoping to get some kind of a commitment with somebody, but they're afraid that there's some dishonesty and deception. So yeah, we have the storm warning, some kind of an epiphany here to do with a reunion. Uh, could be a family reunion, a get together. It Generally, it looks happy. I mean, there may be just some happy news coming in. You may be waiting for something here uh, and having some epiphanies, uh, but I feel like it's going to be it's going to be okay so yeah we have this queen of pentacles someone who's very grounded practical patient being very sincere uh, waiting to make plans someone's waiting to make plans 
here. They're not looking into the future, just sort of waiting. This is about someone who's focused on their money, their finances, career. It could be somebody who works at home. They're just fulfilling themselves, their time. It could be you waiting for someone, right? Waiting for this person to let go of a karmic relationship, something very unhealthy. Uh, being patient, being gracious and kind. It's all about comfort, okay? So I feel there's friends. There could be someone here who's hanging out with friends or family. Uh, I feel like there's, it, it's positive. I feel this is somebody who's taking care of their house, their home, their family, and their money. Yeah, we have teamwork, cooperation, compromise, two people building something, going off on a path together towards commitment. But I do see somebody is a little stressed about this. Now, whether they're, somebody is releasing somebody um, and moving towards another person, but I feel it's the healing of it, uh, ending a cycle of toxicity, unhealthy uh, situation. Someone's very determined here. So it has to do with this Queen of Pentacles, a judgment, a decision to just be patient, to look at the details, uh, to allow something to end here. Being very gracious and kind, trying to make somebody feel comfortable. So nice. It, it feels very positive, but I do feel there's some, uh, some mistrust here about people being faithful. And you're both possibly thinking the same things about each other uh, to do with these fears. So there's a need for some kind of truth. All right. I wish you the best. Take care and we'll see you soon.